Hi, my name is Nip Kabustan Atumbri. This is the sixth video in the series, Malachi's Mission Earth. Ray had grown old and as he spoke, moisture dripped from his mouth and fell on the ground. Isis, Aset, the Holy Mother, followed after him. And when she found his saliva, she baked it with the earth on which it lay. In the form of a spear, she lifted, she shaped the substance and it became a venomous serpent. She lifted it up and she cast it from her and it lay on the, on the path where Ray was to traverse. As he walked up and down his kingdom, surveying that which he had made. Now, the sacred serpent, which Isis, the Holy Mother, created, was invisible to deities and men. So soon there came a day when Ray, the aged Nitir Ilogad, walked along the path, followed by his companions. He came nigh the serpent Nahash, which awaited him, and the serpent stung him. The burning venom entered his body, and Ray was stricken with great pain. A loud cry broke from his lips, and it was heard in the highest heavens. Then spoke the Nitira Elohim gods, who were with him, saying, What ill is thee? Ray did not answer. He shook. All his body trembled, and his teeth clattered, for the venom overflowed in his flesh, as does the Nile when it floods the land of Egypt. But at length he possessed himself and subdued his heart and the fears of his heart. He spoke and his words were, Gather about me you who are my children so that I may make known the grievous thing which hath befallen me. Even now I am stricken with great pain and by something I know not of, by something which I cannot behold. Of that I have knowledge in my heart, for I have not done myself an injury with my own hand. Lo, I am without power to make known who hath stricken me. Thus never before hath such sorrow and pain been mine. He spake for the same. I am a Nadir, Elo, God. I am the Mighty One son of the mighty one knew my father conceived my secret name which giveth me power and he concealed it in my heart so that no magician might ever know it and knowing it be given power to work evil against me as i went forth even now beholding the world which i have created a malignant thing did by did by me it is not fire yet it burns my flesh. It is not water, yet cold is my body, and my limbs tremble. Hear me now. My command is that all my children be brought nigh to me so that they may pronounce words of power which shall be felt upon earth and in the heaven. All the children of Ray were brought unto him as was his desire. Isis, the enchant wrist, came in their midst, and all sorrowed greatly, save only her. She spoke forth mighty words, for she could utter incantations to subdue pain and to give life unto that which life hath departed. Unto Ray, Asset spoke, saying, What ailed thee, Holy Father, thou hast been bitten by a serpent, one of the creatures Thou didst create. I shall weave spells. I shall swap thine enemies with magic. Lo, I shall overwhelm the serpent utterly in the brightness of thy glory. He answered her, saying, A malignant thing did bite me. It is not fire, yet it burns my flesh. It is not water, yet cold is my body, and my limbs tremble. My eyes also have grown dim. Drops of sweat fall from my face. I just spoke to the Divine Father and said, Thou must even now reveal thy secret name unto me, 
For verily thou canst be delivered from thy pain and distress by the power of thy name. Ray heard her in sorrow. Then he said, I have created the heavens and the earth. Lo, I have framed the earth and the mountains are the works of my hands. I made a sea and I caused the Nile to flood the land of Egypt. I am the great father of the gods and goddesses. I gave life to them. I created everything that moves on the dry land and in the sea depths. When I open my eyes, there is light. When I close them, there is thick darkness. My secret name is known not to the gods. I am Khibira, at dawn, ray, at high noon, tum, at evening, eventide. So spake the Divine Father. But mighty and magi magical, magical as his words were, they brought him no re relief. The poison still burned in his flesh and his body trembled. He seemed ready to die. Isis, the enchantress, heard that, but there was no sorrow in her heart. She desired, above all other things, to share the power of her upright. And she needed him to reveal unto her the sacred name which Nu conceived and uttered at the beginning. So she spake to Ray, the Divine Father, saying, Divine Father, thou hast not yet spoken thy name of power. If thou shalt reveal it unto me, I will have the strength to give thee healing. Hotter than fire burned the venom in the heart of Ray. Like raging flames, it consumed his flesh and he suffered fierce agony. I said, waited. And at length, the great father spake in majesty and said, It is my will that Aset be given my secret name so that it leave my heart and enters hers. When he had spoken thus, Ray vanished from before the eyes of the Nitirai Elohim gods. The sun boat was empty and was thick darkness. I said, wait him. And when the name of the Divine Father was about to leave heart and pass into, pass into her own, she spake unto Haru, her son, and said, Now compel the ruling Nitir by a mighty spell to yield up also his eyes, which are the sun and the moon. I said, then received in her heart the secret name of Ray. The, and the mighty enchant Ruiz said, Depart, O oh, from, from Ray, come forth from his heart and from his flesh, flow out, shining from his mouth. I have worked a spell, lo, I have overcome the serpent and caused the venom to be spilled on the ground because the secret name of the Divine Father had been given to me. Now, Ray live, for the venom had perished. So the Nadir was made whole. The venom departed his body, and there was no longer pain in his heart and any more sorrow. Isis is the Greek name of the female deity known to the Egyptians as Auset, Aset, or Iset. The Greek related her to their earth female deities Demeter and Hera, and also the moon deity Selene. Isis is equivalent to Ishtar and Dinah in the Sumerian doctrine, Mary in Christianity, Maya in Buddhism, and Dinah and Fatima in Islamic doctrine, the Bible calls her Ashtoreth. First Kings 11, 11.33 and Second Kings 23.13, meaning star. Aset, Isis, is also the goddess of corn and flax and weaving cloth. 
some of her most common names are the great female deity, the divine mother, the mistress of charms and enchantments, and in later times she is called the, de the mother of deities and the living one. She is commonly represented as the mother suckling her child, who is known throughout many cultures as Madonna and Child, or Mary and Jesus, and figures of her in this aspect are in bronze. She is one of the most popular Egyptian deities, and as time passes, she became, began to assume and absorb the traits, functions, and personalities of practically all the other goddesses. She is usually depicted in the form of a woman with a headdress in the shape of a seat, which is the hieroglyph that forms her name. The animal she held sacred was the cow, which is the sacred animal of the goddess Hathar. Therefore, sometimes she sometimes went on her head. The horns of this animal accompanied by plumes and feathers. At one point, she is identified with the deity Selkit, Selk or Serpa, and she then has upon her head a scorpion, the emblem of the female deity. Then a star was added to her crown, the hieroglyph representing her name was the picture of a throne or seat. In Egyptian paintings, she is identified by wearing this symbol on her head. In later, in later time, she is occasionally shown bearing a solar disc on her head, supported by a pair of cow horns, and, some, and sometimes surmounted by two feathers borrowed from the goddess Hathar, with whom she later came to share some of her attributes. At other times she is shown with the protecting wings of a kite. She is the universal, universal goddess and was identified with Sothis, the Egyptian name for the star Sirius, which is close to the constellation of Orion. The Egyptians later linked Orion with Asaru, Osiris. Isis was also worshipped under the names Isothis. As its name spread far, she was worshipped in Rome, and the Romans carried her name throughout their empire. Isis began as a local deity north of Egypt, possibly in Perehbet, where a temple was later built and dedicated to her. As her following grew, she became known as the wife of Azaru. Together with their son Haru, she became known as the wife, they became known as the most loved and respected gods in Egypt. Assisting her husband in the task of bringing peace to the people of the Nile, Isis taught women the methods of grinding corn and show them how to spin flax and weave cloth. She was skilled in the art of healing and passed her knowledge to her people. When Asaru left Egypt to spread the word of peace to the rest of the world, she stayed behind, proving herself to be a great and just ruler while acting as his regent. After Sotoh, Seth had cut the body of Asaru into 14 pieces and cast them into the Nile, Isis, aided by Nephthet, Nephthes, her sister, recovered all but one part, which was the phallus, which had been swallowed by a fish. Aset wanted the semen to use in a symbolic rite of reproduction, having already extracted the seed as did all the deities of that day to artificial insemination to produce a child. In this case, the child was Haru, a Christ or Messiah of that day and time. Aset and Nephthet, with the help of Anubu and Tehuti, 
manipulating the molecules, enabling them to assemble the body of Azaru. Together, they took the separate parts of the body and made Azaru whole again. Then wrapped him in bandages of a mummy, as if in the form of a kite. She took the form of a kite and using her wings to blow air into his nostrils, restoring his soul to life and making it free to depart to the other world. Still in the form of a kite in the other world. All this is symbolic of the rites of resurrection. Still in the form of a kite or bird, she came to rest on the body of her dead husband and using her magic, she conceived their son Haru. All of this is, was done in Shimti with the scientist. It is done every day nowadays in laboratories. And that is why my Nubian people to this very day, they all with no exceptions are still worshipping and calling on the name of the Black Madonna or Isis, their deity of war. Now, lately there has been a whole lot of finger pointing going on concerning the ungodliness called terrorism. However, if we are in the process of identifying the terrorists, how about starting at ground zero? Hello? Slavery is terrorism, or is there a plague of convenient amnesia? He who feels it knows it most. You know, the psychological trauma, the mind numbing terror, and the deeply rooted demoralization, the dehumanization we Nubians have to endure as the white hooded Ku Klux Klan night riders go joy riding to pick a nigger to be burned, branded, boiled, hung, castrated, disemboweled, causing the traumatized abortion in the pregnant females and decapitated, to die slow, horrible, torturous deaths as entire family of Caucasian men, women and children and even their babies just sit right there with their pick and nig or pick nig or picnic baskets calmly feasting and enjoying the horrifying human travesty. For oh, when we are gone down unarmed and innocent in the mean streets by those professing to protect and serve or we are just maliciously harassed for merely driving black or when we are tied up and dragged drug behind moving vehicles or when John Hawkins embarked from the shores of Mother Africa with his human cargo that made Canaanite Caucasian beast men become filthy rich who now boast of living the lifestyles of the rich and the famous all through illicit human trafficking. Don't get me started on terrorism and devilishment. You see, that emotional reaction you are having right now, Conan, this is the abhorrence and disgust Nubians have been toler tolerably living with for the past 400 years. He who feels it knows it most. Now, don't get me wrong, Conan. We know you will try to twist around what we are saying. No, 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 no. We still love you with a universal divine love that is all pervasive and all encompassing. In spite of all we have been surviving under your unyielding, diabolical bondage, 
Nubian still flock to church on Sundays to worship quite Jesus. Now, if that ain't love, then tell us what it is. And apparently, it would appear that it has to take a bigger, unforgiving, suicidal devil to subjugate a lying, slinking devil, thus giving credence to the phrase, fight fire with fire. So, don't you even try to include us into your mess because we have been trained for 400 years to stay out of white folks' business. So, everything's going to be all right, Martha. Everything's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have 400 years of post-traumatic slavery syndrome to deal with. Our plate is already full. That's the end of today's video. We hope you have learned something from this video. We urge you to share this video and to subscribe to the only channel where you will learn true ancient Egyptian mysteries. No more lies, no more guesswork. So share, subscribe, click on the like button below and see you at part 7 of this series. Black History, Malachi's Mission Earth.